As a child, we were well protected, we were loved, and those were my glory days. Back then, our parents were always there. We just had everything. It was so safe, loving, secure for us. That's how I remember. But in reality, I have a lot of mental block because of boarding school. Okay, nisto nitaniko sipeka na suyaki. My mom was sickly, she had a bad heart. And little did I know what was going on. I didn't know, I was just a child looking at, looking around, and then next thing this woman comes along. They talked, her and my mom talked, and then, and then the next thing we were in the hallway, and I looked back and, Oh my gosh, my mom wasn't even behind me. And that woman pulled me in. And I was traumatized. I, I lived with abandonment issues after that. It didn't take long, my mom died. And I barely remember the funeral, but I remember coming out of the funeral house in Cardston standing at the doorway and wondering, I wonder who's going to look after me now. I was only seven years old. My grandparents, I lived with them, and those were good years because I was out of the boarding school. And then come 1963, my grandmother started getting sick. And I was so afraid that I was going to be left again, like my mom left me. And then one day, they took my grandmother away in the ambulance, and she never came back. So at 13 years old, I was back in boarding school. We were allowed to go home on weekends, but there was times I couldn't even go home because nobody picked me up. But there was this one white woman, staff, uh, she's a big, heavy set lady. She, uh, she started being nice to me and, and, and I sleep in her room and she didn't do nothing to me at first and then next thing she was uh, touching me I was just a child you know what it was a Saturday I went downstairs to that lady that was a cook in the kitchen. Then I was begging her if she could take me home. Just drop me off at my dad's house. But I knew there was nobody home. I wanted to kill myself. I thought nobody cares for me. I found a rope. And I started trying to figure out how I was going to tie it so it could go around my neck. Because I, I, didn't, I didn't feel good about myself. I felt shamed. I didn't understand what this woman did to me. And I wanted to hang myself and because I felt like my, my dad wasn't home. My siblings are never, nobody ever remembers that I'm around. But when I was doing that, preparing that rope, I looked towards my brother's house south. I was seeing their outside light come on. That's what saved me was their light coming on. And I just dropped what I was doing. And I took off running over to my brother's house. 
So that's one of the things that happened to a lot of us children. We're nature people, we're prairie people. And I believe in you kids that you could go out there in this world and make a change. Make a change for us. Make a change for your people. A lot of people need healing. that my mother spirit's always been with me, guiding me, protecting me, just like in those dorms when I was all alone, uh, sleeping in those dorms. Uh, I knew her spirit was there. I, I, I knew now, now I know that she's always been there.